meeting to order January 4th, 2010. Welcome everyone. Hope the holidays and Santa Claus is good to all and that we back here on the job. Uh, not a real heavy agenda tonight, so we're going to try to work through it. With your package, we have some minutes of the December 7th, 2009 meeting. Anybody ready to comfortable make any suggestions, changes, or motion to accept? All in favor of your hand. You may sign up for public session. Ken Frommick and Tom Ritter, we got a duo here. Mm -hmm. We're trying to figure out what you're doing here. I guess we'll I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Well, I didn't have room left on the line to say what we were doing. Uh, we appreciate having a moment to talk to the board. Um, Tom and I are working together. Tom's a design professional. I'm the attorney on the Joseph Moretti project uh, that's well on the way next to the Sinems. Um We're here mostly out of concern because of, uh, well, I just had a check in back to me for one thing, uh, that, that we weren't moving forward towards annexation. Um, this is an ideal project, of course, for annexation. And that's not why I'm here tonight. I'll, I'll tell you that when we're back. But I, I know that the board is um, considering um, an involuntary annexation of maybe property on down to a Mexican restaurant or somewhere in that area. And that's fine. It seems to me that voluntary annexation should continue in the meantime because it's some of the same thing and we pay the freight. The main reason that we wanted to come today, though, is this. Uh, our project's different, and, and, and it's different in a significant way. When our project was approved by this very board for water and sewer, it was conditioned upon an agreement between the town and my client that we annex to the town. Now, that agreement was important to the town. Uh, it's important to my client because, among other things, um, they'll have savings on utilities once they get annexed. And in reliance upon that agreement, my client has spent a, a great deal of money already out there on the project. I, I know you all drive by it as much as I do and see the progress that they're making. So um, the best we could do, we didn't end up as a line item on your agenda tonight, but um, is come to this portion of the meeting and, and just um, present that in hopes that um, a different situation might be treated differently, um, that the agreement would, could be fulfilled, and, and that, that uh, my client's project could get back on track towards annexation, as was promised by both of the parties. Uh, <coughs> Consideration request for nonprofit funding for Habitat for Humanity. Rick Westman and Joe Sassar. Sassar Six. He's not going to correct me right now, but that's close. I'm going to let Joe do most of the presentation because he, he's got the numbers and the, the facts and figures. We are coming before the town uh, for a one-time deal due to the economic downturn of the, the country. Uh, there are home repairs that we have been doing for the town of Franklin and for the county. It has put us into a financial burden. We have spent about $44,000 out of our operating fund doing repairs for homeowners that cannot afford them. They have to decide if they're gonna buy medicine and food or they're gonna fix that broken window or that door that's falling off. But of course they just fell through. So uh, I will let Joe pick up from here. I serve as the outreach director, coordinator of volunteers, and I also coordinate all repairs and rehabilitation. So that gives you the background to why I'm here presenting this. The fact that we, I took your form and I answered the questions and I'll go through each one. If you stop me, if you'd like to have a question on that particular item and I will try to answer it for you. Uh, how is this grant of funding will meet our public purpose to opportunities like that? Uh, as you know, if you have a note down here, it says, are we willing to go into contextual, contractual agreement on these funds? And yes, we are providing it does not alter our mission statement. And I put a copy of our mission statement, you should have it in there along with the 
other material that you requested. And I won't go through the detail of it, but we are basically a Christian organization, non-denominational. We serve the Christian churches here and many times provide them projects in which they work at because of the fact we are one of the very few organizations that work at homes, this puts us in a, a unique bracket. We work with volunteers almost entirely. We have a very small staff of about three of us at the office and an additional supervisor and we have store personnel that run our resale store. But for the most part, every one of our people that work out at the sites are volunteers. Uh, we are hoping that this will be a one-time thing that we won't have to come back again, that it'll get us through and we can be able to work off of donations and, and opportunities like that. We strip this money to the, if we were to give money to inside the city limits, I and mean, you don't have a special account or something like that, do you? We do. We have a repair account, and it would be restricted to the town of Franklin. It can be done. We we do do work outside the Franklin area in the county. Mm -hmm. We can't go any further. In other words, Habitat for Humanity and Macon, or Macon County Habitat for Humanity is restricted only to the county and the, the municipalities that are in it. We can't go anywhere else. We don't want to because it's it's you know, we don't want to have to deal with other building departments right now. We got enough in Macon County. It needs to be very interesting to us to know if we were to make an allocation that we could be assured it would be. Used. I will see that you get a report on all the expenditures and we keep a, a detailed sheet on all the jobs and uh, what we spend on them. The average repair job is mostly about $500. But we've had, like we said, this house with the roof went to 1900 and we've got these two ramps coming up and we're going to exceed that probably on that too. We put that restriction on the they have to be people who live in town of Franklin. Um, we certainly have a major substandard housing problem. People are just not aware of We'd love to be able to do every one of them. All right. As long as there would be a restriction on it, it would be used for properties inside the town of Franklin. I'd like to ask you to call that. Second. For discussion. Motion by Billy, second by, by Bob. All in favor, raise your hand. Thank you very much for listening to us. Appreciate you very much. Thanks for the work you did.